Hello, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Lori, and I am here to do your general reading for you. Hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. Let's go ahead and find out what your overall energy is, any obstacles, what's on your mind, um, what's, what's your immediate future. We'll see how you view yourself in this situation, and we'll also get some outcome cards here to see... Uh, if you work your way through this situation, whether it's good or bad, let's go ahead and take a look. All right. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, and having some fun. Your overall energy is the sun. It looks like you're having some fun. And if you're not now, you are about to. This is telling me that something is just making you so happy and you're feeling so aligned with the universe, yourself, your higher power. Life is beautiful, and you are going to be enjoying it. That is the sun card for your overall energy. Let's go ahead and see if there's anything blocking it. Oh. Possibly not trusting your instincts here, or um, not taking the time to... Just enjoy the moment. We've got the high priestess here, and that tells me that it's about your intuition. Either you're not trusting your intuition or you are not at peace in the moment, okay? That may be your challenge to not really know how to align with whatever this is coming your way. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we've got. We're going to go ahead and do a traditional style Celtic cross here. Let's see what else we've got. Well, you want to move on from a difficult situation. You've got the Six of Swords. So you want to leave something behind. That's what's on your mind, is moving past a difficult situation. That's why you are going to be in the sun, okay? Honesty, truth, clarity. I feel like you're trying to put some baggage behind you. Um, yeah. I mean, this looks good. You're trying to leave uh, something in the past so that you can be happier. Whatever it is. You are, you know, that's what's on your mind. You want to move into an easier lifestyle? Um, a, a smoother, easier relationship, thought process, a new job. It could be just about anything. All right, let's go ahead and see what is, uh, what's the foundation of this situation? What's going on here? I got a little gnat thing flying around here. So if you hear me go... Every once in a while, I'm trying to blow it away. <laughs> All right, so the foundation is independence, being able to stand on your own two feet. There may be a concern about whether or not you can take care of your own self, your bills, your responsibilities, if you are independent, if you're not doing what you're doing. So that's what is making you nervous, okay? That's what this challenge is. It's hard to be in the moment when you're worried about, well, will I be able to make the money? Will I be able to take care of myself? When really your focus should be on what's making me happy? What will make me happy? Yes, you have to pay attention to your responsibilities. Absolutely. All right, but just trying to find your happiness. What makes you feel right? What makes you feel whole? All right, let's go ahead and see what your immediate future is here. What is going to happen in your immediate future? Four of Pentacles, you may hold back. You may not actually, you know, move forward with whatever this is that's coming your way. Even if, not quickly anyways, okay? So this may be a slow progressing um change shift i hear you trying to protect yourself protect your money so this may be a slow moving change okay where you're you're really focused on staying stable being able to take care of your responsibilities i'm also hearing protecting your heart your home and i don't mean against like attack i just mean 
making sure everything's good, everything's solid, everybody's on the same page, that you're taking time to focus um, on yourself, okay? Your inner emotions, so that when you deal with those emotions, you can feel more stable. All right, let's go ahead and take another look here. Let's see what the past has done here, why this is Ace of Cups. Oh, okay. Deep emotions here. Deep, deep emotions. And the, you're kind of upside down on those right now. You're, you're not sure how you feel about the situation. I think you want a change. You want something new. You would prefer, though, if this is about whatever you're in right now, you would prefer to actually come into alignment with it and move forward that way. But I think you've got this idea that you have to break free from this leave this either um leave a the job leave a person um or leave a specific part of a relationship behind so you don't necessarily want to leave the person you may just want to leave that portion of the relationship behind you move on from it not let it get to you trust your intuition here and focus on being happy. All right, so in the past, that may have been difficult, challenging um, with this situation. So that may be why you feel like you have to break free from whatever it is. Let's go ahead and see what you think um, about yourself in this situation. How are you actually viewing yourself in this situation? Are you a victim? Are you a hero? Are you... Uh, the progressor, the thinker, where are you? Spirit, what would you like to tell our Libras here? Well, no, thank you. How does the viewers see themselves? Victorious. I knew that other energy wasn't right for you. Yeah, you, you see yourself successfully overcoming this. I mean, you started off with a sun card as your overall energy. So, of course, you had to be successful. That's why I couldn't figure out the Ten of Swords um, temperance there. Ah, okay, I get it. You were moving past that. You were staying, you know, even keeled, patient, waiting to move past that last Ten of Swords. Close the door. Here you are, though, six of wands, successful. So good. You see yourself um, overcoming whatever challenge you are dealing with here. Whatever the situation is, you are confident. You are confident that you are going to succeed. That was the hair font that just tried to come out. But look at this. What's happening in your environment? There is a big change, a big shift. Is this you moving things? I do feel like it is. Okay, I do feel like this is you moving these things, M changing your environment. Maybe you are moving out, moving away, transferring. Yeah, there's big changes in the environment around you. It's going to be like night and day. Whatever you were involved with here, it's going to be completely different in the future. Look at this. First time Spirits called me to look at the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Pentacles. Your happiness, your joy, your bliss. All right, let's go ahead and see what your hopes or fears are. Let's see what's going on there for you. Hopes or fears. There's the hair fun who tried to come out a little while ago. All right, so you want to elevate. This could be about a marriage. It could be about a commitment. It could be about wanting to do things the right way, fearing that maybe things aren't going to go the way you want. That I'm also hearing, oh, oh, somebody is struggling with societal religious beliefs and dogma. Somebody here is afraid that if they move forward, that they're going to look down, be looked down upon, that this is breaking the rules, that this is not what you should be doing. All right, that makes sense. Especially if you are a um, involved in a um, practicing religion where there's a lot of history, okay, Catholicism, um, 
Hebrew, Judaism, Roman Catholic, or even further back, okay? We've got a lot going on there. And Spirit is saying, connect with Spirit, okay? If you have questions, sit quietly, and you will receive the information that you need. I'm also noticing that we have five, six, and seven right here in this one row. But we also have four over here. All right, let's go ahead and see what the most probable outcome for this message is going to be. Are you going to move? Well, we know you're going to be successful because you, if you are determined to be successful, you're going to be successful as long as you're not trying to force things. And I don't think you are. I think you're sitting back and letting them happen the right way, manifesting your intentions and allowing spirit to move you. Look at this. Whatever it is, it's arrived. You've got the Knight of Pentacles. And this knight is off of the horse, okay? Not riding the horse, not arriving. The knight has, is here and has been dropping and planting seeds, ideas, um, stability, okay? Beautiful energy here. So your most probable outcome is success. It may take a little time to develop, okay? Especially if you're concerned about money. That may be an issue that... You know, you're going to be okay, I'm hearing, right off the bat. You'll have enough to take care of what you have to, but your wealth is probably going to take a little bit of time to um, to grow here. Not a long time. Not a long time. The knight is off of the horse. He's already arrived, so things are planted. Things are starting to grow already. All right, let's get you some oracle messages here. What have we got today, Spirit? We have confidence. Self-confidence is what opens you up to the energy that is required for you to carry through each day at your very best. Okay? So have that confidence. Have the courage, have the strength, okay? Yes, you can absolutely get through this. All right, let's see what else we have here. We have wisdom. So use your wisdom. Use your wisdom wisely. What experiences have you had throughout life that you can use to your advantage? You're able to do multiple things. You are multiple people. You have multiple talents and skills. Your life experiences, okay, those ten of swords that we have saw earlier, are taught you lessons. So take those lessons and put them to good use with your wisdom there. And we have enthusiasm. You celebrate everything in your life and you live in limitless joy. Okay, limitless joy, happiness, and bliss. All right, let's get you some angel numbers here, some numerology. What have we got going on here today? Nine, 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 the lessons that have been learned. Okay, putting your lessons learned to good use with your wisdom. Culmination, results, benefits, reflection, completion. Take stock of your accomplishments and how you got to them, how you managed to accomplish these things. This is a reminder to maintain optimism and continued growth towards your goals. Maintain your momentum and understand that the powers of heaven have your back and you have made it. All right, 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, 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 nine. And then we have 1919 cycles. Karma. There's a warning here of some sort. Judgment. So releasing something, rising above it. Influence, power cycles, changes, and rebirth. Karma is about to pay you a visit. Release the need to control because you cannot force things to happen. You cannot force people to change. You cannot force people to do things that are not for their higher good. 
Learn your lessons so that they do not repeat in the future. Make some space for your new experiences. All right. I hope my sleeve, my scuffed up shirt here hasn't been on screen too much. All right, let's see what else we have here for you. Starseed message, empathic, energetic sovereignty, absorbing what's not yours. Okay, so let it go. If it's somebody else's issue, let it go. Let it be. All right. We have butterfly spirit. Transformation is beautiful. 11, your life is changing. You are changing. You're using your wisdom from your experiences. This is a beautiful transformation. I'm also hearing that this is not a fast one. This is something that you've been working towards. You're in the midst of it, and you're going to continue on um, in the future. And that right there is what the message was from the high spirit is your challenge because you may want this to move quickly and it's not going to happen that way okay you have to just deal with what is there and you will you absolutely will libras give yourself some patience this card was sitting over there so we're taking it card 33 it's an open bird cage here with a key in front of it so you or someone else around you has the key to your heart has the key to your freedom, whatever aspect of your life that this resonates with, okay? This also is the Eight of Pentacles here, the Eight of Coins. So this could have something to do with work, independence, okay? Financial independence, freedom to work on your own, freelancing. I'm hearing a lot of freedom here, freedom to set your schedule, free to be you, free to feel good. I love this. All right, so card 33, the key to the cage, to the heart. There is a rose in there, too. And we have pronghorn, action. Now is the time for you to act because opportunities are here. So please move forward with the confidence, okay, because you have talents, um, and they will always help you land on your feet, or on top. Your quick wit and keen senses are what will lead you to success. And they're right next to the success. I love when spirit tells me to put things in a certain spot. All right, let's see what else we've got going on here for you. This is an awesome message. If it's yours, tickle tap, booper zap that like button. Go ahead and claim it in the comments. All right. And if you are a returning viewer and you have not yet subscribed to this channel, Go ahead and consider doing so. We have an awesome community, and I would love for you to join us. If you are a new viewer, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you being here, and I hope you found something that made some sense to you or helped you, helped to guide you or inspire you, and that you come back in the future. Either way, I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. You guys are awesome. I love you all to put pieces, okay? Love you all to pieces. Look at this. You guys keep getting this lobster. And we know from the past what the lobster means for you. This in the um, tarot deck, it would be representative of the moon card, okay? You are your best comfort and safety. You know what you want and you know what you need. So there's celebration, protection, inner awareness, shedding, and rehoming. So moving, traveling, elevating, okay? Inner awareness. Definitely the intuitive feelings here. Beautiful. All right, anything else here? And once again, you guys have the staff. I'm hearing the name Stephanie, Stefan, Colum, Colum, McCollum. All right. 
And what do we have here with the staff? This would be representative of the Magician card, the Emperor, the Chariot, which is right here, the Hermit, and the Eight of Cups. Your words hold power. You choose the ones that lift you up. So you're talking good talk to yourself. You're not letting the negative thoughts take hold. Okay, you're moving past those negative thoughts pretty quickly. Good for you. This is about power manifestation, wisdom, and look, it's right next to the wisdom card. Travel with the chariot, experience, protection, and evoking, okay? So calling forth those things that you want and you want to feel. Beautiful energy there. All right, we will get you three yes or no answers. I'm hearing another... Air magic. Air magic. Your words. Being caught, careful with your words. Being lighthearted. Looking. I mean, the air energy is um, Libra energy here. I'm looking for the book. I apologize. All right. Another card came out when I grabbed the book. But let's look at air energy here for or air magic first. That's 44, so that's stability. That's on page 44. All right, so air magic. <clears throat> Without air, there is no life. But unlike the earth element, okay, hang on. That's the other one that came out was earth magic and air magic. So we're going to put both of these right here. But I'll hold this one up while I'm reading this to you. So without air, there is no life. But unlike the earth element, which is solid and obvious, the element of air is more ephemeral and harder to visualize. You cannot, after all, hold a chunk of air in your hands the way that you can a rock. So we often use something else to symbolize it, like a feather or incense. But that doesn't make it any less vital an element than earth, or any less powerful, as anyone who has ever lived through a hurricane will tell you. Embrace the power of air with every breath you take, and send your appreciation out on the breeze. All right, let's see what the divination of this is. This card is trying to tell you to do something magical connected to air. You can do the breathing exercises or stand outside in the wind as you mindfully connect to the power of air. If you have been struggling with health or emotional issues, go ahead and maybe light a, smud, a sage smudge stick and let the air wave away any negativity and illness. Okay, so focus your intentions there. All right, so we have air magic and then we got we ended up with earth magic, which came right out, which is page 27, which is a nine. All right, let's see what this says for you. Earth magic is at the core of everything we do, and even simply just being humans. The earth supports our feet when we walk, provides the base for the homes that we live in, and springs all life form Um. You could start on a new project. Wait a minute here. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. Went too far. Turned too many pages. I was wondering why that didn't make any sense. All right. The earth supports our feet when we walk, provides the base for the homes that we live in, and springs all life from its fertile soils. We only have one planet, in doing some kind of earth magic, whether it involves crystals or herbs or even salt, helps remind us of how important the earth is to our lives. This card may be trying to tell you to do something magical. Magic means something different to each of us. But pick one of those things that seems magical to you that you can connect with to the element of earth and do it today. Is that gardening? Is that whatever? Okay, just an idea.
It doesn't have to be a long, complicated thing, although that's not a bad idea either, because the more time you spend with Mother Gaia and Earth, the better you feel. Magic feeds the soul as the Earth nourishes our body. Do something magical. Your spirit, spirit will thank you, okay? Whatever makes you feel really good, magical, happy, connected to Earth, to, our, to yourself, to others. All right. We will end with a letter die. Let me get these C melody messages out here for you. We have rescue, help others in need, or ask for assistance when you need it. And determination, absolutely, you are determined to succeed. Do not be afraid of the rising time because tide because it soon will recede what comes goes okay this too shall pass so wait for your moment and shine 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 love that all right what have we got today vienna victoria vesuvius jv tj Hijab, Shabon, Kane, Ken, Keenan, Hannah, Henry, Theo, Tabitha, Nancy, Nick, Eugene, Unger, Tongue, T-U-N-G, in case you're wondering how that was spelled. Doesn't matter. Take it if it resonates. Betty, Bonnie, Hockey, <sighs> Yvonne, Sally, Sly, Wesley, Weak, W-E-E-K, ah, these we w w h Wet, Wheatley, Wesley is coming through very strong, Sean, Jason, Java, Kansas, Waterford, Lazy Lizard, Lizaro, Tassel, I'm hearing na 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 na. It's almost like a song, like somebody likes to sing using na na instead of the words, maybe. William. Astro. Vixen. Vicky. Viking. West Virginia, Johannesburg, VJ, Beverly, Ava, Nana, John, JJ. Tennessee. And that's what I've got for you guys today. I hope this helped you in some way, guided you, blessed you, gave you information, made you feel better. All right. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, please email me. My email address is below. I will send you all the details on how it works and everything else. Okay. Until our energy 
crosses again, I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Love you guys. Bye-bye.